This is the Smith Machine chest press to target the overall chest. The use of the Smith Machine versus a barbell is great for hypertrophy since it will allow you to have more control on that eccentric and you could typically push closer to failure since the fallback of the safety mechanism allows you to attempt the last rep that you might not go for doing a free barbell chest press. For the setup, place the bench at the center of the bar, and an easy way to do this is to bring the bar down on top of the bench, allow me to perfectly adjust the bench to the center of the bar. Next, lay on the bench so that at the bottom of the movement, the bar is at or slightly above the nipple line like this. Now, if your Smith machine is angled like this one, make sure you orient yourself so that when the bar goes down, the bar is going towards the bottom of the chest, and on the way up, it goes towards the shoulders. This will most closely mimic the bar path if you're doing a free barbell chest press. And regardless if your Smith machine is angled or straight up and down, again make sure at the bottom of the movement the bar is at or slightly above the nipple line like this. For the width of the hands, have them at a width so that when the upper arm is parallel to the ground, the elbows are making roughly a 90 degree angle. Next stabilize with the legs, placing the feet outside hip width and the heels behind the knees like this, trying to have as much of the bottom of the foot in contact with the ground for better stability. This is also going to help us create a natural arch in the back and help us make sure that that chest is pointing slightly up. And as you press, make sure that you're also slightly pressing the feet into the ground, but make sure to keep the butt on the bench. To start the rep, slightly bring the armpits towards the hips to engage the lats. Squeeze the core and then unrack the weight by pressing up and rotating the bar. Now before you start going down, adjust the hands as needed so that the wrists are straight, doing your best to stack the knuckles on top of the wrists like this. Avoid having the wrists bent like this as you go up and down as it can lead to wrist pain and a weaker chest press. Also make sure that the elbows are stacked underneath the wrists so that the forearm is vertical like this. Always slow and controlled on the way down, 2-3 to three seconds, allowing the shoulder blades to retract and get a pause at the bottom like this, making sure to tap the chest on each rep. On that way up, lead with the index finger and the thumb, pushing the back slightly into the bench as well. Keep the feet on the ground and the butt on the seat, and I'd recommend stopping right before locking out the elbow to keep tension on the chest and using less of the triceps. A big tip to feel the stretch on the chest better is as you go down, think like you're slightly reaching the elbows out to the side, and when you go up, try to do the opposite, pushing the elbows towards each other as you press up. Avoid shrugging the shoulders and flaring the elbows out as you go up, and now if you struggle with this as you're going up, think like you were slightly driving those elbows towards those hips. Make sure you keep the same control tempo on all of your reps, and for the advanced lifters, on that last rep, try to perform that concentric for 3-5 to five seconds before giving up. And once you're done, rotate the bar to re-rack the weight. Thanks for watching, like this video right now, and subscribe for more of the best tutorial videos just like this one. See ya!